I don't usually do this, but uh, this is like a particular YouTube response to uh, Lashid for you. Um, she made a, uh, a little video series on something a title called like "Sink Black Single Moms Are the Cause for World War Three." And I only saw like a little bit. I saw like a little bit of the first one. Well, I saw the first, the entirety of the first one, and I think I saw a good bit of like part six. And I just kind of listened to her. She goes into this like long tangent of how she was on birth control, and despite the precautions she had, she ended up being pregnant. Um, I'm not really worried about that part too much. Um, I'm. I just wanted to focus on the parts where she talks about how black single moms are unnecessarily having all the blame to everything and are the cause of the illness of the world. Um, I would like to say that um, I feel like personally, I, I, I don't like when whites uh, talk about black single moms. Um, I feel like that should be only a topic and issue that only black people should should talk about. Um, I have no problem talking down to black single moms, especially if they're doing a shitty job. Um, let's just kind of be honest. They're not doing a good job at all raising their kids, you know. Even if they're teaching their kids morals their kids are still unable to compete with other races of people, especially men. They're not motivated to do anything. Um, you know, especially with these boys, I'm seeing a lot of these boys. They're compl they're they're relaxed. They're compl they're they're um complacent with living off other women. If it's not their mom, it's their baby mamas, you know, or their girl. And single moms have put into their son's head that, hey, you don't need to do anything. You know, just be a good person. Just be there. If you have kids, just be there. You don't have to work. You don't have to do anything. Just be there. And I, I see this in my community where, you know, there's there's good fathers out there and there's good young ones. But then like I see some that are like, why does this dude have kids? And why does this dude is patting himself on the back? And he's not doing anything constructive, he's not doing anything uh that's I would consider as a role model. Um I I just don't I just don't like um, seeing single moms raising sons because I see a lot of painful things. I, I was on a, a a Facebook um Facebook group, and there was a picture of this uh this mother and her son. Their son looked like he was four years old, and they were literally dressed alike. Both had on like white tees. Um. Um, cut up jeans and you know like the, the sh um, they had like a shirt that was like wrapped around their waist and she crossed her legs and he did the same and it was just I, I, everybody was just kind of going in on like man that kid's gonna grow up gay, a feminine he's gonna be weak and I, I wanted to comment on it but it was like man this is too painful this, this is too painful to, for me to even comment. And these single moms are teaching their sons nothing. Nothing tangible. The only, the closest thing they can, they will teach their sons is just morality and like, here's the Bible. You better um, learn how to catch your blessings. You, le you better learn how to praise God this way and, you know, catch your blessings. You know, know, when, know your blessings and that's the same shit that my mom is doing too. Um, she, you know, she she had me. She, she didn't really have me. She just kind of like showed me this video of Denzel Washington at a graduation ceremony, 
and he was talking about how he was successful because of uh, his mom and you know, t- you know, God, you know, you know, God is this, um, this like pillar of success, and you know, you you need God. You can't do nothing. It's like okay, yeah. And it's like I, I'm not doing this, man. I'm I'm not gonna be acting like I have to be reading this Bible twenty four seven to feel to feel empowered. You know, if I want to be successful, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna sit down and hope that somebody notices my intelligence when I'm not trying to do anything. I'm a go getter. And so I'm just kind of like tied with how my mother thinks because, you know, her, her lifestyle isn't too bad, but it's this waste of a time of you praying to this God that doesn't do shit for you. You're, you're, you're not happy with anything. And I'm pretty sure you're praying, you're asking for God. And you've been doing this for years, all your life. And like, where is your blessings? You know, where where is the, where is your um, luxury? You know, your luxury life. You just think things are gonna fall off out of the sky, and you're just gonna be so happy and intrinsic and all this bullshit. You know, I'm a man. I'm not gonna be thinking like that. I'm not gonna be sitting down and just be like, you know, you know, a miracle is gonna happen out of thin air. You know, of course, there's things that happen that you least expected. But the thing is, I'm not living off of randomness. I'm not living off of uh, the smallest possibility that I'm going to become a millionaire through a scratch off. But um, I'm. Uh, but another thing why I, I'm really frustrated with these black single moms is that. Is how they teaching their daughters, which is like the most critical thing that I cannot stand. I'm tired of black women and some of their horse mentalities to um, to where like when you ask like a, a young girl, like does age have an is there like an age limit in love? And most of them will say no. I'm like, you really think? A dude who's in his 30s can truly love a girl who's like 14. That That's statutory rape. And most of these black girls just be shocked. Like, really? Huh? But it's like, sometimes I, I want to be mad at them, but it's like, man, it's just that, it's just that they're raised in these whorehouses to where they're seeing so much sexual malfunction going on and there, there may be a male presence but it's more like um you know an in and out boyfriend some child molester you know those end up being the main dudes getting in the house and you know that that shit frustrates me man I, you know, and, like, girls really don't even know that they're being taken advantage of. There's no way in hell you can tell me that a dude who is 30 can truly love a 14-year-old. I was watching Divorce Court today, t- this morning with, uh, with something similar to this. Um, a girl pretended she was 17 and to, so she can get with this bummy... Um, dude in his 40s and the dude kind of found out he he kind of stayed with her and it, the relationship was really weird she was bisexual she was a, she wasn't she became an escort and the, the dude was kind of coaching her to be an escort for money and you know to go on these dates with strangers on the internet and she was talking about the, the judges asked her, um, "Why do you date these type of guys?" And I was like, "I, I already know, they they more mature, they more mature, 
you know, and she she said she just said it like, oh well, uh, I I like these, I like mature men. But in reality, no mature man is going to deal with an immature woman or a girl, at that matter. These females are idiots, you know. And uh, with 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 the story with the uh, with the show is that um, the dude ended up trashing her stuff. She claimed that you know seventy seven thousand dollars of you know was damage was called was caused. She only got like roughly half, so she only got like three thousand. And I was just nodding my head to this dude is that. You, you should have known, like the minute you found out she was 17, you should have just booked. Instead, instead of playing with her, you know, enjoying the little sex life, trying to do little things. But yet, yeah, dudes still get caught up with their sexuality, with their with the, with the, with the, uh, sexual deviance, and they're stuck and trapped. But, you know, I, I was. Another thing with these young girls is that I'm watching Maury. And I forgot this girl's name. I think her name's April, I think. And um, her first appearance on Maury was uh, her cousin was pregnant. And I think she suspected that he also impregnated um, her cousin as well. And her cousin was like 17 or 16 at the time. And um, the dude who, who, who allegedly fucked them was neither of their fathers. Uh, neither of the... the uh, his, none of those babies were his. And uh, Maury had asked, like, why do you date these, these guys? Um, and she was like, I like these men's. They're more mature. And she said just like that. And I'm like... The dude's an idiot, a bum, and you you spe- you you acting as if you're dealing with like what a, a prince charming or something, and that's like the the funny thing about these dumb these dumb chicks who who date these way older men. They act like these dudes are, are like. No, let me let me rephrase. They these dudes aren't even have good character. They have nothing going on with themselves, but you you champion them like saying like, oh yeah, this is my much older boyfriend, and he's so much more mature. And like, yeah, com- compare him to most dudes his status, he's a loser. <laughs> but y'all y'all swear y'all winning, you know. And I, that's like one that's like one reason what which I feel like talking about. With um, by these single moms raising their daughters to be whores. I I can't stand sometimes seeing black little black girls with babies because last year I'm seeing this girl in leather all leather clothes. You would think she's doing a music video or something for TLC, and she's in all leather like an escort or something. And she's holding this little boy. And she looks at me funny. I'm looking at her funny. And I'm like, where are you going? It's a hot 90 degrees Thursday. Nothing special is going on. Where are you going looking like that with that little boy? I wish I said something like that. I wish I would have said that to her. But it, it, it just infuriates me when I see black girls irresponsible black girl i don't want to i don't want to hurt the you know hurt anybody hurt anybody that's innocent in this situation but i just hate seeing that shit and last year again i'm seeing this but in a more larger scale when i'm seeing little boys being babysat and this was at this was at a, um, a high school homecoming and these little boys, these boys are uh, being babysat by their, uh, I guess, maybe it's maybe it could be their moms, maybe it could be their older sisters, a cousin or whatnot, friend, family friend, whatever. And these girls are looking like whores. Mini skirts up to their, literally, 
you know, way, way, way up there. So close to their waist. Je- dr- dressing real stank and scandalous. And I, I'm just nodding my head, man. It's like... Th- these single moms are failing. They're failing these da- their daughters. They're not even raising them to be respectable. And now you have these kind of these feminist uh, single moms who want to rationalize and um, stupidity and ratchetness. And I was watching, um, I, w- I was watching um, True Life. And they had a segment called uh, Slut Shaming. And they were, they were, they were, I'll, I'll make another video about this separately, but I just want to hit on the black girl, because there was one black girl that was involved, that was in, that was, that was in the show, and her situation was that she's a recent college graduate, lives with her mom, and she's dating multiple men at the same time. Her brother doesn't like that, and so he forbids her from seeing his child. And she feels some type of way. Um, Hence, of course, she's dating losers at the club. They showed one dude. The the conversations she has are boring, irrelevant, and she's bored herself. And so she's dating like eight dudes and like she lose interest. She lose interest in them within five minutes. You know, so she's in she's in she's going on these pointless dates for no fucking reason. And, um, but, um, this girl, she feels some type of way and she sees one of her, um, I guess mentors from church because she had a a very promiscuous, um, past. I think she lost her virginity at the age of 13 or 12, uh, because she was molested and that kind of, um, Got her into the typical spiral of dating older men, adults, acting promiscuous, blah, blah, blah. And so, she, okay, back to this meeting that she had. And this older lady was like, she could be in her 50s, and her nickname was Mama Red. Little ghetto names. Um, and so she tells uh, Mama Red about the situation with her brother. You know, keeping him, keeping her away from his, uh, from her nephew. And Mama Red's like, oh, that's stupid. You know, you, you can date all these men that you want. You know, um, he, he, that, he's giving you stupid standards. Like, like, if he tells you, and she says this stupid, um, she makes this stupid comparison of like if he tells you to wear your hair short are you going to do it is he saying like you know you can only see um his nephew if your hair short that's stupid he's not you you can do whatever you want and i'm like my god this is a a, a 50 year old woman mentor in the church co-signing horrorism and ratchetness within the black community Nobody is stepping in. Nobody is doing anything. And in this frustrating, I wanted to throw the fucking remote at this bitch. I'm like, you, are you seeing the type of guy she is going on dates with? These are losers. She even loses interest in these guys within five minutes. She asked one dude, um, what you want to do with your life? The dude is like 25, about ish. He's talking like this. Uh... Um, I don't know. I just do whatever, um, you know, whatever comes up, you know, whatever comes up, comes up, you know, you know, I, I, you know, I don't, I ain't got nothing to do. And he's just talking, mumbling, clueless on what he wants to do with his life. And he, the nigga's 25. Clueless. Typical bum in the street. Clueless, just just club hopping. The dudes she dates are losers. I, they're not even in school, probably. If they are, they're probably in some kind of a uh, rundown community college trying to get a bullshit degree. <sighs> it, 
it frustrates me because we we have now this because of feminism, you know, we you have black single mom feminists going on YouTube or whatnot, going on to these college got colleges talking about oh you can be as sexual as you want. It's so stupid that a man can tell you that can call you a, a, a slut when he's doing the same thing. And it's like, okay, forget it. A lot of dudes aren't getting bodies like that. They're not having a lot of sex like that. There's plenty of dudes on YouTube who are complaining about not getting any. And there's dudes I know who aren't getting any. But yet, females want to wanna look at the, 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 like the few 30% or 40% of black males and just be like, they're sleeping with all these women, though. How come I can't do the same? And I'm like, okay. Equalizing stupidity, okay. Equalizing stupidity. And I, I, don't, I don't know if you, uh, Lashid, for you, are, are co-signing this kind of stupidity. I mean, I'll, I'll probably have to watch all of your videos from one to, to six or seven to eight or how, however long you made it. But I'm just saying... They're, they're not that evil to create World War Three, but they're becoming a nuisance. Okay? Their daughters are becoming whores. They're failing their children. Their sons are incapable of creating a patriarchy, creating black economics. And somebody, a man at least, has to step down and put their foot in somebody's ass to make a point and say, hey, this shit ain't tolerated.